dabble into different industries and I kind of realized that you can't be just one dimensional. You have to invest in different things. Hi, today at Entrepreneur, we have with us Moni Roy, actor and entrepreneur. Moni, thank you for talking to us at Entrepreneur India thank today. Thank you so much for having me here, Punita. I, it's my pleasure, absolutely. Moni, we have seen uh, your career uh, being shaped from television to now movies and now you have dabbled into various industries. So can you share more about the, how the transition has been? So I think uh, as much as it's been a roller coaster ride from television to OTT to films and now having my own restaurants, um, it's also been a conscious choice to you know expand the kind of person that I am and dabble into different industries and I kind of realized that you can't be uh, just one dimensional you have to you know invest in uh, in different things and I think uh, right now or two years back that I decided to uh, decided to get into restaurant business I, I think it's the perfect timing because India uh, you know the youth has diversified so much and I feel like everybody is trying on different, new different things and I think it's the perfect time. So yeah. So was there a turning point when you thought, okay, yes, now I should don the entrepreneurial hat? I'll be very honest here. So basically what happened is uh, my husband's best friends own this company called the VRO. They own, they run some 58, 60 restaurants. And I have always believed that your dream is great. The flat first plan of action is great. To start something is great. But to uh, be substantiated by an actual uh, rock solid firm or uh, you can take your dreams forward in the long run. It's just not the beginning. You have to kind of sustain it. And once that I, I felt that I had that backbone, I thought, why not? I also, I'm a big foodie and I love food. I have always wanted to do something uh, in this category. So, I mean, as an, as an actor, you feel that when you get into the entrepreneurship mode, it's important that you have a partner with you? Of course, of course, uh, at least me. So, uh, I'm a dreamer and uh, my uh, wanting to, Badmash is obviously Indian fusion, but my wanting to open a little cafeteria or ca coffee shop started with my travels. I'm a big foodie and every time I would travel anywhere, I'd love to sit by the sidewalk cafes with my little book and have coffee and croissants and it was such a beautiful experience and I always wanted to give it to someone like give it to people and uh, it was a lifelong dream but when the opportunity came knocking at my door I was like why not and uh, you know I also realized every time that I travel I crave Indian food so uh, and invariably in two three days I'm looking for Indian restaurants and going and eating Indian food so Badmash was uh, something that completely resonated with me, my vibe, my food habits and uh, when I was asked by my husband and his bed, Don and Subin and Saftar saying do you want to do this in partnership I was like why not absolutely bring it on and uh, to the point I even put a Royal Bengal Tiger as an emblem in all the badmashes uh, yeah in Bangalore and in Mumbai so yeah it's it's a bit of my baby you may say that so that's how it uh, came along. So what's your favorite food by the way? Mm, so um, I have a uh, mushroom, uh, shakuti mushroom that uh, has a, it's very spicy mushroom. I love spicy food. Our dal makhni is great. I'm an vegetarian by the way. So yeah, I don't eat uh, chicken, mutton and fish. Uh, so, and I love av avocado and I love uh, jhalmuri, if you know, it's a Bengali okay. thing. So there's something called the avocado bhel. It's just me. And then in the drinks also, depending on, because I'm not a very, uh, I'm, I hate desserts and I don't like sweets too much. So they made a drink called Monilicious. It's very dry and very like, uh, yeah. So I have had those inputs uh, while uh, curating the menu and it's uh, going so far so well and it's a huge hit. So I feel very blessed and grateful. Interesting. So what were your learnings like as an entrepreneur? Oh, so you have to be apparently involved in every aspect and you can't, uh, you can't let it be. You have to have a team of people who know more than you. 
only then you can succeed it's very important to have trustworthy people not just trustworthy but trustworthy and skilled people who can uh, run the show for you when i am at events like this or when i'm at shoot and you have to check in every day or every other day because uh, what you need is the con consistency uh, of the vibe the music and most importantly the food it should taste the same every single day otherwise uh, otherwise it doesn't work i have realized that and it feels great at the end of the day to great uh, get great reviews but it's even more of a blessing if you know people uh, actually eat uh, the food and then they tell you how much they love it in fact uh, you know i always say that if if in films you make a bad film uh, nobody is going to sue you but uh, in the food industry they can <laughs> like if they fall sick they can so yeah okay so apart from food any other passions any other uh, segments you plan to get into in the coming time uh, not yet not right now but uh, well yes filmmaking i have always wanted to write but i don't i don't do anything half heartedly if i go into something i go head on in it so if i have to get into writing then i do a creative writing course first and then probably so yeah i have uh, lots of various passions but i truly believe i am a jack of all trades and master of none i do little bit oh. of dancing and singing <laughs> acting is my profession i absolutely love it but i truly believe when you take up something uh, and even if it is a side hustle you have to give it your all and you have to be in it 100% otherwise it doesn't work it requires the same amount of attention and the same amount of dedication that you are giving to your main career whether it's music or you know dancing or singing or acting or anything else but when you got into the food business did you when did you realize okay this is something for the long haul Oh you have to uh, I knew it from the very beginning if I I um, even with the fear of sound, sounding presumptuous because I just truly feel okay I'll give you an example so I was doing television for 9 years and I knew and I had some film offers while I was doing television but I did not just wanted to do one did not just want to do one film and go back uh, to do doing television so i knew if i have a rock solid career somewhere that is when i'm going to dwell in it and that's what happened after gold i signed like three more films and i was like this is the time if not now then when the same thing happened here so uh, vro is a very very prestigious firm and like i said earlier uh, you know making a dream come true is great but can you sustain it in the long run do you uh, can you uh, see it through in the long run with all the things that you have planned for it and nobody knows about the future but uh, you know you'd always know if uh, if a business or a setup is efficient or not your fundamentals need to be very very right and correct so that's what i felt going into this with them uh, i know that for a fact that i couldn't have done it alone without don subin and sabdar and my husband obviously they int he introduced me to them and to be honest uh, it's because of my husband that i am so well aware and i have taken interest and uh, he he always uh, kind of you know uh, pushes me in the right direction and say he'd say that you know nothing there's no shortcut to hard work no matter what the industry is so if you are getting into something you get to know uh, you need to know about something and if you don't know about that thing you got to learn so that's i feel like i'm a learner and i'm learning every day till now it's uh, very new for me it's only been a couple of years so yeah. i'm learning new things every single day about it so sure. so right now we have seen seen expansion in kolkata mumbai and yeah. bangalore so kolkata uh, we're not involved but okay. uh, bangalore and uh, we have three restaurants in bangalore and two in mumbai okay five yeah. in all five in all yeah so what kind of expansion you're planning going forward oh my god i'd so love for them to um, actually two ways so love for them to be go international like i want one in dubai and uh, in london but it has to make business sense mm -hmm. and we're not thinking about like a franchise okay. so let's see but my plan is also to uh, take it to the smaller cities and smaller towns in india because uh, one thing i'm really proud of is the food so i feel like people are really going to enjoy it whenever the you know statistics make uh, sense we are going to do it but that's like the overall plan we all right okay thank you thank, thank you. you so much for having me here today thank you, thank you.